why DSS may not invite cleric that threatened Christians in a viral video. Abubakar Salil Zar Zaria is an Islamic cleric who was seen threatening Christian in a viral video after an attack on Fulani Muslim travelers in Jos, lead to state. Ever since the video went viral, many groups have been calling on the DSS of state service. So invites the cleric for questioning, but no invitation have been sent to the cleric by the security agency. After about 25 Muslim travelers were allegedly killed by a military group in Jos, North local government area of Plato State, Abu Bakr Salih Uzariah, an Islamic cleric threatened to kill Christians if any such attack happens again, and is vid and his video went viral. However, he has not been invited by DSS, and the listed points below might be the reason. 1. DSS might be monitoring its action and movements. The Department of State Service might be doing an underground investigation on the issue instead of inviting him for interrogation, which might lead to just talks and long conversation there are chance that the dss are monitoring and observing the steps and action of the cleric two president buhari took control of the situation it should be noted that abubakar salil zaria is not the only cleric that threatened the christians sheikh daru bauchi an islamic scholar whose disciples were murdered also alleged sent threats to the Christians' faithfuls after hearing about the incidents that occurred in Rukuba. President Muhammadu Buhari intervened in the matter by summoning Sheikh Dairu Bauchi to Abuja. It would be safe to assume that President Buhari condoled and advised the Sheikh against inciting violence in the country. President Buhari knew the cleric reacted in such a manner due to pain and anger felt after hearing of the massacre of their Muslim brothers. So he took it upon himself to caution the older cleric and stop any plans of violence. Though many people were angry that the president summoned the Sheikh after his violent statement, he probably didn't want religious crisis to add to the issue of insecurity in the country so he calmed the islamic scholar an action that will send a message to abubakar salio zaria both islamic clerics have been sober and calm since the trip to abuja if the dss wants to interrogate any of the cleric they would have done that by now i think the dss will not invite them due to the above reason well i don't really think the DSS are doing any investigation. That is a lie. But though, shall we all know that Buhari has never wanted any of his Muslims brothers or all those Fulanis to get into any trouble with the government? Or else, which of the Christian, I mean, which of the Christians GOs has he called over to um, talk any peace talk with? But he had to call out on that cleric to talk to him. Well, this is what we all know have been going on. That all these Buhari's Fulani brothers are all only here to incite war. We don't even know what they have been preaching to all those their uh, brothers in the, in, in the north. That they think violence is the only solution to their problem. Well, let's go to the comment section and hear people speak about this who cares it will soon be over if a christian or sultan are cough he will be arrested the ugly game will soon expire the dss does not undergo investigation only when it comes to muslims threatening christians buhari invited the islamic clerics for private talk which were never made public no statement has been issued warning against the threats to christians if the raw if the law nerves of the two Clerics were messaged during the private talks to calm them down. What was done to calm down their supporters? As was seen, 35 people were killed in jails soon after the statement by cleric, irrespective of the talks with Buhari. Hmm. 
I don't really know what is really going on in this country anymore. But as it stands right now, we don't know where the DSS belong. Just like the story of Igbo's aid that DSS boss has refused to grant them bail, despite the fact that the court has granted them release papers. Up to now, the DSS boss has refused to allow them go. So what is the presidency going to say about this? The DSS we know is partial and sentiment. Since the cleric is a Muslim from the north, DSS will not invite him. The, the way you guys take us for fools baffles me. If it were an Igbo man or a Santana who gave that threat, why the DSS decide to first monitor his activities or will they immediately uncuff him? You are obviously misrepresented his opinion. Please go back to his comments. Okay, the way you guys take us for a fool really, really baffles me, I must say. They will not invite him for interrogation because they are all terrorists. All of them are working towards the same goal because Nigeria is now led Islamic terrorists. Their goal will never be achieved, that's I know, because we Christians in as much as the muslim even if not modern i must say so i don't know how and when it's possible for them to even try to islamize this country that is not possible they can only do that in the north can't you hear the story of isba they've been busy molesting innocent nigerians in the north in Cardin in um, Kano states i mean to say but no one has done anything about it instead the presidency is smiling about it gabashi will not have anything to say about that but when someone cough against the administration he will come out to wage his tail like a dog whose bones has been taken away and now he's coming out to tell us now that the president is going to tackle all the insecurity issue in the country where is this done if they are going to tackle the insecurity in the country the security begins at home let them start tackling the insecurity matter from the north that way we will know the presidency is indeed serious the muslim cleric gets a movement founded trip to asorok so that their nerves can be gently calmed by the president after hitting the polity with incendiary utterances what a country <laughs> Story from idiots. Did he not insult him the way he insulted Bishop Koka Oyedipo? He was lenient with those animals who started the killings in the first place. Leave just leave play to leave Benue. You said no that you must kill them all. Was it not in the country that Fulani killed 200 in Jos, 73 in Benue, 48 in Enugu, about 300 in Taraba, countless numbers all over Nigeria under the watch of Buhari. What did Gaba Aruba said about those killings? Anyway, Gowan Unongo has told has sold their souls to the devil. Hmm. If they like, let them sold, sell their souls to Lucifer. Their agenda to this country will never take place.